and welcome back to the third and final part of this tutorial so to start with what I've done with uh, the converter is as follows let me show you guys the the variables declared for the converter let's go up here first thing you have to declare the following variables for the countries that you want to convert their money there they are and after that okay okay after that make sure make sure you select your combo box there and you enter the names of the country there they are I have the names of my countries there okay you can see it right there all right now you can just type everything in here Okay, so you get rid of that. Let's click on OK. All right, that's taken care of. So if I run the program now, I can always click on this combo box and you will see the names of those countries. Click on that. Look at that. It's working as expected. But this is not working yet, so we need to take care of that. The calculator works though. There. So the calculator is fine. Alright. Now let's exit. That's working. So the next thing to do is to double click on the close and enter as follows right here. Okay. Now follow by the lines of codes for the conversion here are the conversion codes right there take it down that is conversion codes whatever you enter into the text box this very text box It is then stored into this variable British pounds. Okay, now we now differentiate each of these country. If Nigeria is selected, then string variable convert one equals string dot format into Nigerian currency sign, which is Naira. Okay multiply that by British pounds which is whatever is entered in there right. and multiply by the conversion rate the Nigerian conversion rate the Nigerian conversion rate is a global variable which is right up here let me show it to you that is it here all right that's the conversion rate the US conversion rate okay yeah. Brazilian, Canadian, India, Philippines, and Indonesia. So I have all the those countries conversion rate right there. So that's the first part of it for Nigeria taken care of. Then the second one is Kenya conversion rate is taken care of right there. Look at it. The Kenya conversion rate. and the US I've actually used those countries that most people watch my video in a lot of people watch my video in the US and uh, Kenya India and so on that's why I'm using their own conversion rate I don't think they watch it in Nigeria though but I just put it there okay they also watch it in uh, Canada so thank you Canadians zero point for Nigerians for now watching my videos okay now the Brazil yeah we do have some Nigerian in there so they watch it as well so thanks Brazilians that's how you convert the British pound to Brazilian so I have India there 
they wash it a lot in India. Thanks, Indian. I love you guys. Okay, right there. I also love these guys, Philippines. They're nice people. They wash it a lot. So well done. This does a conversion rate. Then finally, I have Indonesia. Thanks, Indonesians, for watching my videos. I'll keep trying my best to keep you guys happy. So that's the conversion rate, guys. So if I run the program, compile, and run the program, let's see what's going to happen. Select whatever country, Kenya. 55 pounds British hard currency. Enter that in there. That gives you a Kenyan shillings of 8,000 plus. Okay, we can clear that. Let me change it to US 500 plus British pound sterling. Convert to US is about 890 something. Okay, 829. Clear. Whatever country next, Brazil. Convert as Brazilian. So let's say you want to convert that same amount into Indonesia currency. That's what you get. Or in the, or yeah Philippines yeah Philippines there let's go for India there as you can see the converter works now last but not the least is for us to take care of this reset so I'm gonna exit and go for the reset. okay let's have a look at the receipt double click on that and right here these are the lines of code for the receipt right there so what I've done here is assigned all of the data inside those components into the following local variables this local variable if you notice they are all in string okay because I can only assign string data into a test array. Let me show, uh, sorry, into yeah, a test area actually. That's it, test area. Okay, only string variable can only be assigned to it. That's why they are all in strings right there. Okay, those are the lines of codes. You can always modify, do whatever you like with it. And I think that's that'll be all for this tutorial. Let's take it down. Yeah. Bring it down again. Yeah, a little bit. And that is all. That'll be all. So if I compile and run, so let's run the program now. Here we have the name in there, so we we'll call that Jones. Jones Anthony. There, an address maybe ninety-five thousand. Road, London. Then uh, material we have nine meters of copper there, and five for chrome. Maybe eight for copper. And this guy has traveled about for four miles. And uh, sorry, he's walked for about four four hours and the. Uh, and it traveled approximately seven hours so if we click on total that gives us the total and that's without discount supposing there's a discount supposing there's a discount just click on total and that is what you get with a discount without a discount you can add this up you should get 400 plus yeah so that's looking good 
and um, you can even convert that money to whatever currency you want so let's say we have 402 so you can just convert it to British at let's say here yeah, to US dollars and that's what you get okay you can select any country and just convert it to that country there there okay this is the calculator that works as expected All right. so what is left for me to just show you guys now is the receipt so with the receipt just click on this button right there as the cause of everything okay with that I will with that let me just show you the the codes for the receipt again those are the lines of codes for the receipts take it from the top okay let's move this here so that you can see it and I'll come down okay and that's all there is to this uh, Java NetBean Java NetBean job estimator We'll run it again there Let's enter the size of the of the material hours of labor distance travel click on ok with discount click and with that just call it the end of this tutorial if you have any need for the code you can always get back get in touch with me but make sure you do subscribe so with that i'll just call it the end of this tutorial have a nice day now bye